Hello everyone, I am back with an unboxing video of a Louis Vuitton Neverfull GM in the Damier event. The first time I thought about um, purchasing a Louis Vuitton Neverfull bag, it was $800. The second time it was $900. The third time it was about $1,000 and I kind of forgot about it and then I ended up purchasing it a fourteen hundred dollars. What the? So I made. I finally went to the Louis Vuitton store and I uh, purchased the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the GM, which is like the large size. And it was in the style Damier Eben. Before I show you, I'm gonna share a little bit of my Louis Vuitton store experience. Before I went to the Louis Vuitton store, I heard like so many negative things about the Louis Vuitton store. I heard that the workers won't even acknowledge you, won't even greet you, especially if they don't know you, if they they never seen you. And I heard that they usually come to the customers that they already know by name. So after I heard that, I decided to still go to the Louis Vuitton store. So when I went to the Louis Vuitton store, my experience wasn't bad. I did not get a bad experience when I walked in. You know, about three of the workers like made eye contact. I was greeted by two of the workers and one of the workers approached me and asked to assist me. And I also heard that when you go to the store, they don't offer you anything, you know, but I was offered like sodas, like all type of different sodas. I was offered champagne and I was offered uh, snacks like the macaroons or stuff like that. So that has been my experience at the Louis Vuitton store. I got excellent customer service. It could be maybe the, the sales consultant that approached me maybe he was just that nice I don't know if I would have gotten that experience if he wasn't there but however my experience was awesome the box came like in this huge bag right here which is like so big when I walked out of the store with that big old box huge shopping bag like in this bright color it was just so embarrassing but Luckily, I wasn't parked too far, so I was able to make it to my car really quick. And then after that, it was in this box right here that come with a bow, which you guys saw me take the bow down. And the box is like really sturdy. It's like a really good quality box. I mean, I think that personally, if they could lower the price of the bag and give me like a less expensive box, I would be okay too. And then it comes like this. The bag was wrapped up in this beautiful fabric. It looks like it's cotton and it says like Louis Vuitton on it. And I did get the receipt and the receipt came in this little card right here. And then I did get the, the sale consultant. So I do have my receipt in here and then the sale consultant um card right here so he did tell me about you know preserving my receipt and he also um explained to me how to go about if like the bag is having some issues like uh, there's some like damage to the bag i can come back to the store and then they can now uh, repair the bag for me and then he says that if i want something i could always he gave me like uh i guess they have like the work cell phones so he gave me the work cell phone where I could text him directly without having to call and then he will reply back to me. This is the bag right here. This is the Neverfull in the Damier event. And Damier is French for uh, checkerboard. It's usually called Jeu de Dame. It's like a checkerboard game. So I can see where the name come from because the bag looks like a checkerboard. And uh, a bed is uh, ebony, you know. That's it. <laughs> this is it right here. And then, as I purchased uh, the bag, they offered to put my initials in the bag right here. If you can see, I have my initials right here. And it's MB. Maybe I'll show you like a closer look. 
MB. And then I also heard that usually they charge for that, but to me, to add my initials onto the bag, it was completely free. I didn't have to pay anything extra for that. One of the things that I have to say about the bag, I watched so many reviews of this bag here on YouTube. Um, so many people say the bag is huge. It's it's a great size. I have carried bags this size before. I don't know, maybe because I'm a little bit, you know, on the heavier side where it doesn't look so big next to my body. And then the inside is this beautiful red color and it has this uh, Louis Vuitton, um, this right here, I don't know if you can see where it says Louis Vuitton on it. And then it also comes with this uh, pochette that you can maybe carry. I used to have something like this that I carried for like years, which I bought for like less than $10 at Ross. So that pochette is now destroyed. So now I have the Louis Vuitton pochette that I can be using. I have detached it and this is it right here. So I can use it by itself or I can just use it with the wristlet. So I can also add the wristlet to it and carry it like this or I can just carry it by itself. And the inside of this bag is red as well. And it has a pocket right here. What is this? So it just has some information in the bag. So I'm very happy with this bag. And then the zipper is very like smooth. So this is really good. On the side, some people choose to fold it. For the side, I guess you can wear it like this, which I think this is how I'm going to be wearing it most of the time. But I know with the side, you can also fold it and then cinch the bag in. But I'm not going to do it right now because the bag is like so new and very firm. Um, I don't want to start messing with it because I watch reviews where people say it cracked. I'll try to get some more out of it before I start folding it. And these are the handles right here. Um, these are like really thin but they are so pretty I like I really like this brown color because you know I don't have to worry about it getting dirty and stuff and they kind of stand up on its own like this but I'm sure that with over time it's going to fall off I'm going to come back with a video of how I'm planning to make my Louis Vuitton uh, bag keep its shape thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't Leave any comments below and I'll talk to you in the next video.